Hey guys, today I'm filming an update for my 365 days of samples series. If you guys have not seen my intro or any of my other videos, I'll have my playlist linked up in the cards. So I'm going to start by showing you all the things I was able to use up over this past month. And starting with the hair products, I have some foil samples of the Chlorine Soothing and Anti-Irritating Shampoo and Gel Conditioner with Peony. And I wish I reviewed these for you guys last month because I literally do not remember them at all. So I'm assuming they were not terrible, but also not great. I have like never tried a foil shampoo and conditioner. I felt like I wanted to buy it in the full size. I am such a drugstore hair care girl. And yeah, those are fun. I don't have too many thoughts on them. Sorry about that. Then I had the travel sizes of the Vibrant Sexy Hair Color Lock Shampoo and Conditioner. These are nice. I feel like color treating products do usually do a nice job with my hair. They don't make it too greasy. This conditioner, though, was very thick and it was hard to get it to squeeze out of the bottle. I did have to twist off the top. These had a nice scent. These were good products, but they're not something that I would repurchase. Then... My other hair care product, I think I have one use left in this. This is the It's a Tin Miracle Leave-In product. This is a really nice product. I love the scent of this. And basically after I wash my hair, I will brush it out and apply some of this. So there's just a tiny bit left in here. I think one more use. So I'm going to store it upside down to get the very last bit out of this. But I wanted to share my thoughts with you guys now. I don't notice it doing a ton for my hair. I think it probably does detangle. It does give some extra moisture. It has a nice scent. I have another of these I'll be excited to use up but this isn't something I would purse in the full size because I don't see enough benefits. So then we have the skincare products I used up. The first is the Bosha Detoxifying Black Charcoal Cleanser. This was very nice. It was really gentle, very easy. It made my skin feel super fresh and very clean. I don't love this enough to buy it in the full size because I know it is very pricey but I would love to get more of these to try out. Cleansers for me most of the time are very basic. I think once I use up all the ones I have and I have to purchase one, I'm going to go back to the Mario Badescu Acne Facial Cleanser because that makes my skin feel very fresh and clean and it's also really affordable. So I would pick that one over this one because of the price, but it's a really good product. I also used up the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Define Exfoliator. I'm really not sure what the difference is between this and the pore dermabrasion. They feel like they have the same amount of grittiness to them, so I don't know what the difference is. I do like them both. I actually do have a big size of this that I was gifted from my friend Amanda, so I don't even need to repurchase it. It's a good product, but I do have some other exfoliators I like a little bit more that are a little cheaper, but this is a very good product. I did use up the Tarte Maracuja C Brighter Eye Treatment. Just a little deluxe size sample of this eye cream. This is nice. I have had trouble with eye creams where sometimes they can like irritate my eyes and make my eyes water. I didn't have any trouble with this one. It was nice and hydrating. I didn't notice it doing anything for puffiness or for fine lines. It was a nice simple product. I do have another of these that I will use up, but again, I wouldn't repurchase it. My favorite eye creams that I've tried would actually be the one from Drunk Elephant and the Codely Resveratrol Lift are my favorite ones. And then I did finally use up this little deluxe sample size of the Proactive Acne Treatment. It says it has Adapalene, Adapalene Gel 0.1%. This was an okay spot treatment. I did repurchase my favorite one, which is the Mario Badescu drying liquid stuff. That works much better for me, so this is not something that I would repurchase. Then I did use up two body products. The first is this travel size of the Bath & Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom Shower Gel. You guys know I had just had a little bit of this lingering and I wanted to go ahead and use it up. I love this scent. I do enjoy the Bath & Body Shower Gels. The scent doesn't really linger on my body, but that's because my body just kind of rejects fragrance. But I love the way that this lathers up and it just smells so nice in the shower. So this is something I will continue to repurchase on sale. The last thing I have here is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense Perfume. I love this. It literally smells just like light blue, but 
It is a perfume instead of an eau de toilette, and it lasts longer on my skin. So I have the 3.4 size of the light blue eau de toilette, but once I use that up, I will repurchase the intense version because it lasts longer on my skin. This is one of my favorite spring summer fragrances, and I'm really excited I got this sample to be able to see how comparable it is to the original. So now we are going to move on to the new things I'm adding in as well as the products I am continuing to work on. In the description box I'll have everything broken up by finished, in progress, and add-ins. So starting with my hair care products, I have got this little three-step system of the Clorane Mango line. So this is the nourishing shampoo with mango butter, a little deluxe sample size and then we've got foil samples of the nourishing mango conditioner and the nourishing mango leave-in cream so I would like to use up all of those nourishing is not the best for my hair type but I think that it's I mean it can't mess up my hair it just might make me a little greasier but I would like to use those up since I have them and then like I said I have about one use left and the it's a tan miracle leave-in product so I'm going to use that to get every little bit out and then the next oldest hair leave-in product in my collection so this is a leave-in product I'll use up first and then I'll move on to the verb ghost oil which people seem to really really love so I'll see what I think of it I haven't really used too many oils in my hair but hopefully that is a good one and of course I'll just keep it from like here down I won't have that anywhere near my roots then for the skincare products for my makeup remover, I am still working on the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This has lasted me a while because I haven't been the most consistent about using it. I did, however, use it much more over this past month than I had the previous month, and I actually do really like this now. Before, I didn't quite get it, but it does a very nice job of breaking up the makeup really quickly. Really expensive, but I do really like this product, so I have just a couple uses left so I'm gonna finish this off but also in my Sephora play from last month I got this little card sample of the take the day off balm so I'm gonna open up the sample scoop this out and put it in this jar to make this easier to use get that used up then I'm gonna move on to this next product which is the Dermalogica pre cleanse people seem to really love this it's just like another like cleansing oil type product so I hope I love it just as much I'm very excited to try that out I'll we'll see how long it takes me to use these up the problem is sometimes I just use a makeup remover wipe and skip all that so those are my plans for makeup removal then we've got some new cleansers and scrubs for this month for the cleanser i'll be using the youth to the people kale and green tea spinach vitamins age prevention cleanser so i will be excited to try this out this is my first product from youth to the people then for the scrub i'm a little nervous because this looks kind of funny and i don't know if it's old this is the ole henriksen walnut complexion scrub i got this last summer but it's old packaging so i don't know how long this was sitting on the shelves at the ole henriksen warehouse because like look maybe it just needs to be like mixed around i don't know i will try it and if it has expired or if it is gross i will throw it away and i will use something else so i'll keep you posted but again this is the walnut complexion scrub from ole henriksen next moving on to serums for my daytime serum i've been using the clarins pore control pore minimizing serum i probably have got three or four more uses left in this I have absolutely been loving this. It's so smoothing on my skin. It's a really great gel consistency. It has a really amazing fresh scent. This really reminds me of the Estee Lauder, I believe it's called the Idealist Pore Minimizing Serum. I don't even know if they make that anymore. If they do, it's just not as popular of a product because it's more for like you know younger skin and whatnot. But this is a great product. I'm really, really enjoying this. And I don't know if I would purchase it because it's not like it's actually minimizing my pores. I just like the way it feels on my skin and the way it smells. So I should have this finished up within the next couple of days. And then what I'm going to move on to is the Caudalie Vino Pure Skin Perfecting Serum for combo oily skin. This is something that I had started to use before, but it wasn't the right time of year. I think I had tried using this in the winter time and my skin was just a a little too dry for it so I figured this would be a perfect time of year to start using that one and then my nighttime oil 
I'm, I need to like challenge myself. Heather uses this every day because I can have it used up on my next update. This is the Sunday Riley Luna Retinol Sleeping Night Oil. And again, I've just been very lazy with my nighttime skincare. I need to step it up. It's just at night. I just like wipe off my makeup and then get in bed. So I need to be better about it. I really need to. I know I've said that the past, past couple months, but I'm so close in this. I just need to do it. So here's where I was at the intro first or whenever I added it in first update and this update so not that much left I just need to make myself use it I mean it's a good product I don't dislike it I've just been very lazy for moisturizers I have the belief true cream aqua bomb for the daytime I'm about halfway done with this one so we'll see if it's finished off by next month or not one of my all-time favorite moisturizers it's so amazing then for the nighttime I have the belief true cream moisturizing balm Again, there's hardly any progress in this one because I've been very lazy about my nighttime skincare routine. I really love this one as well though, but I need to step it up. Then my new eye cream I will be working on is the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. I've tried this before and I didn't love it, but I don't hate it. It doesn't do anything bad for me, so I will just use that up. Then I have the Benefit Brow Vogue Conditioning Brow Primer, which is something that I've been using as a brow growth serum and as a brow conditioning product and it works pretty well so I just want to use that up. Then my mask I've actually used a handful of times over the past month and I really like it. This is the Ole Henriksen Hygie Hydroclay Detox Mask and this is something that you can probably use. It says use two to three times a week but if you avoid the skin you could use this like every other day because which I guess would almost be three times a week. You know, you could use this really often. It says it's clay, but it's kaolin clay, and it doesn't like set down. It's not a clay mask necessarily. It just feels really cooling on the skin. But when I wash it off, my face feels hydrated, but not greasy, and it feels very fresh and clean. I really do enjoy this product. There's a ton still left in here. It's gonna take me probably two more months to use it up. I need to make myself try to use it twice a week. It is a good product that I enjoy. Then lastly, we have my perfume. So I told you guys last month that I am focusing on one perfume sample and then this little small bottle I have of Viva La Juicy, which is in my makeup use up for 2019. So I've used up actually a good bit of this. I'm down to here, so I might be able to have this finished off within the next couple months. So the perfume sample I'll be using for this month is Product Candy. This is something I'm excited to use. One of my coworkers used to wear this and it smelled amazing on her, but then I tried it and I did not like it on me, but that was a couple years ago, so I'll try it again and see what I think. I do have actually a couple other little samples of this, depending on whether I like it or not. I might keep them or give them away, so we will see what I think of that. And then I do still have my little cup full of perfume samples here. This is a little beauty blender cup. I love this so much. And I've got all the same ones as last time. You can check my last video if you want to see. But I did get one more Dior Joy, which is awesome. I now have three of those. As I mentioned, it's a perfume that I do really like. I'm very intrigued by. But it's very expensive. I don't think I can commit to the big bottle because it's not quite perfect for me. I wish that Scentbird would start selling that because the Scentbird size would be the perfect amount for me, but I'm happy I was able to get three samples of that. So guys, that is my update for my 365 days of samples. I would love to know your thoughts if you tried out any of these products in the comments down below, and I would love to know if you are doing something similar on your channel as well so I can check it out. One more thing I almost forgot to mention, I am going to in a sheet mask. This is the Biobel Beauty Scoop Avocado and Collagen Sheet Mask that is supposed to diminish the appearance of fine lines. I've just had this for a little while. It's one use. I can make myself use that. So now those are all of the items that I will be focusing on over the next month. I need to not be lazy with my nighttime skincare routine and hopefully make some good progress on these items, finish this dang oil so I can move on to something else because I have so many serums I need to get through, like so many. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.